What is going on YouTube? It is Baylor here back with another video. Today I'm happy to say that I'm bringing you a review of the brand new Ghost Lifestyle pre-workout special edition C. Guzman lemon lime flavor. And if that doesn't sound like a mouthful, just wait till you taste it. But in all seriousness guys, I just want to take you through the taste and feel of the product, um, some of the substance in the actual ingredients, and I also want to compare it to some of the other supplements on the market to give you a better idea of how it stands. So let's get right into it. All right, so right off the bat, I just want to say that I'm not sponsored by Ghost. This is simply my unbiased opinion on the product. Also, a little bit extra background information. I took one serving or one scoop of this product in this experiment, and I'm also very sensitive to caffeine. If I drink caffeine past 3.30 p.m., I'll be up till 2 a.m. in the morning. So just a little background information for you guys. All right, so first off, for the feel and taste of the product. This is a really subtle pre-workout. Um, it's a nice, gentle ride. It's not a really hard crash or really noticeable peak, and there's no really hard tingling. It's a very faint tingling, so if you don't like that beta alanine tingle feeling, you don't really have to worry about that with this product. As far as the taste goes, um, a lot of people, like Christian, said that it tastes exactly like lemon lime Gatorade, and I would have to personally disagree. I'd say it's like a 90% match with the actual flavor. It almost seems like it's a little bit too much on the lime side, if that makes sense, but that's just me being picky. So as far as the actual ingredients go, there was a lot of hype built into the alleged increase in caffeine for this new pre-workout. Christian Guzman even talked about it in one of his videos, but they only increased the caffeine by a whopping 22 milligrams, which is really not that much as far as caffeine is concerned. Um, your typical white monster that is zero calories has about 150 milligrams of caffeine, and your typical 16 ounce Starbucks coffee has about 220. So that's just a frame of reference, you can choose to interpret that whichever way you want, but I just thought that you would like to know. Second, in this new pre-workout, they're only using L-citrulline. In the old one, they're using L-citrulline malate, and this isn't a time to debate, debate the differences between the two, but basically, the pump won't be as accentuated in this new product as opposed to the old pre-workout. All right, lastly, I wanted to give you guys a little comparison of this to two other very popular pre-workouts on the market. Optimum New Nutrition's pre-workout and C4, since those are two very common pre-workouts on the market. So first off, Optimum New Nutrition has 1.5 grams of beta alanine per serving with 175 milligrams of caffeine per serving. Compare that to C4, which also has 1.5 grams of beta alanine per serving and 135 milligrams of caffeine per serving. And lastly, the C. Guzman Lemon Lime Ghost pre-workout has two grams of beta alanine with 237 milligrams of caffeine. So those are the stats. Which one would I recommend? Personally, for me, I like a subtle, easy pre-workout, and so I would still have to go with the Ghost one. Um, it's a little bit too subtle for my taste. I would like something a little bit stronger, but I would still have to go with that one. If you want something a little bit stronger, or you want something more tingly or more potent, I would suggest looking elsewhere or maybe taking two scoops, um, which is honestly a really brilliant business idea. Just have everyone take twice the amount that they are usually taking and then you sell twice as much product. But um, I don't think that's what Ghost was intending with this one. Anyway, regardless, that is my review, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.